Hello, this is Cozy Entertain, and today I will be reviewing Marvel Dice Throne, my favorite game of the year. Spoiler alert, let's get into it. At the start of the game, you choose your character, and then you set it up. So let's see how the dice work. So I am gonna uh, pick up these five dice and roll all of them. Oh, so since I got a oh, since I got a scepter, I'm gonna go for mockery. So I I would re-roll all four of these dice. Ooh, I got another scepter, but let's re-roll. This is my last re-roll, and I'm gonna, going to try to get another scepter. Ooh, and I got it. Wow. Okay, so I would deal six uh, defendable damage to my opponent. But after, uh, after you deal damage to your opponent... They're, they have a chance at a defensive ability. So in Loki's, he gets to roll one dice and gain the benefit from his dice. But there is a thing. You, if I were to do this one or this one, I could do undefendable damage, which means they cannot do their defense action after I deal damage to them. Another thing that comes with your abilities is that sometimes it can give you status effects, kind of like his defensive, or this one, for example, gives you status effects when you get a certain thing or you do a certain thing. And these status effects uh, either help yourself or hurt your opponents. So, but the big thing is the ultimate ability. Loki's is like... Is glorious purpose, and with every ultimate ability, you are essentially getting a Yahtzee and rolling all sixes. Um, and in Dice Throne, a Yahtzee, you get to gain a ton of status effects and deal a buttload of undefendable damage to your opponent. So let's see how the cards work. So these main phase actions, one type of main phase action is the uh, upgrade where you just play this and you put it on that or you put it on mockery so this is mockery too and it makes it a little bit better it deals more damage and it even gives you a status effect the other type of main phase action gives you something to do that's kind of uh interesting like this one is to roll a dice and then gain from that so for the roll phase action you do that on your roll phase you can, uh, that can kind of uh, affect your role. This is an instant action, so uh, you can do it instantly. So I draw three cards instantly. And typically, I would have to buy uh, uh, these cards with combat points. And you gain combat points every turn. Uh, you gain one combat point. Uh, so uh, it ha in the corner, it says... So for this one, it says two combat points. It can go higher or it can go lower. For example, this one is just free, so you can just play that. But for this one, you would have to tick your dial down to zero. Um, and that's how the cards work. And that's how you play Dice Throne. What I like about Marvel Dice Throne is that it's like Yahtzee, but even better. With adding things like combat points cards, and things like that to build off Yahtzee and make it even better. Another thing I like is that uh, in my unboxing Marvel Dice Throne unboxing video that you can go watch after this video, I said that the organization in this game is amazing. You can just pull out a character and everything you need will be in that box. And it has that really easy uh, setup and teardown aspect. Another thing I like is that um, on the back of your special abilities card, there will be uh, a difficulty. So if like you're playing Loki, it'll be a little harder. Uh, or if you're playing Spider-Man, it'll be a little easier. 
So if you're a new player, you might want to play something that's a little easier and you can find that in the back of the card. But if you're a nerd, you want to make things more complicated for yourself, you can. Finally, what I, another thing I like is that uh, this game has awesome art on the dice, on the cards, and even on your player boards. And it really just brings out that Marvel theme and it makes the game better in the process. And that's what I like about Marvel Dice Throne. If you're as excited about Dice Throne as I am, you have to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button and smash the notification bell for more content. Um, go check out my merch store that, because that's the best way to support me. And check out my Instagram. Have a good day, guys. Bye.